This is question five in the research methods topic. And the question says, write a suitable hypothesis for the effects of alcohol on driving performance for three marks. Now, this hypothesis question is a question in relation to the scenario, which is written earlier on in the questions. And then you get lots of sets of questions attached to that scenario. So to be able to understand how to answer this question, we need to look at what the scenario was. So the scenario was about a researcher who had allocated their participants into two experimental conditions. Um, and the study was looking at the effect of alcohol on driving performance. And they had one condition who had drank 300 millilitres of beer. And then they had another condition where they didn't have any beer. And then the participants in both conditions were shown a driving hazard test. And what they had to do is they had to watch that, that video and they had to identify as many of the hazards that they could find in the video. So in terms of this question, where, where it's asking you to write a suitable hypothesis, a suitable hypothesis basically means you could write a null or an alternative because it doesn't actually ask you about which one to actually write about. So an alternative hypothesis is that you're going to say there will be a difference between and then the null hypothesis, there will be no difference between uh, the two conditions. And it's looking at alcohol and driving performance. So when you're thinking about how to answer this question, you need to think what is the independent variable and what is the dependent variable in this scenario? So that then you can work out what you're going to write in your hypothesis. Now, when you look at this, you've got the independent variable, which is what you're changing. And the researcher is changing whether or not uh, the participants are drinking 300 milliliters of beer or whether they're not. And the dependent variable is the number of driving hazards that they are able to identify. So you need to make sure that you include those two things in your hypothesis. So this is what the hypothesis would look like. There will be a difference in the number of driving hazards identified by people who drink 300 millilitres of beer compared to those who drink no beer. So you can see there you've got your independent variable. Um, which is the uh, whether or not they drink 300 millilitres of beer or they don't drink any beer. And then you've got your dependent variable, which is the number of driving hazards.